Hello and welcome to another week's edition of the Weekly Waller Review Show. Hi everybody. We had a, um, a different morning this morning. We did. Very fast morning. Yeah, very fast. Fast we and exciting morning. Exchanged horsepower to on four legs to horsepower on four, four wheels. wheels. With courtesy of Mercedes Benz Parramatta and um, Eastern Creek Speedway. And wow. It was unbelievable. AMG, the fastest family on wheels, isn't that what they said? That's what they said. Yeah. But um, those of you who are lucky enough to drive a Mercedes will know what we're talking about. Those of you that can afford a Mercedes, buy one because you don't know what you're missing out on. And um, even second hand, they're not expensive, are they? No. There's, there's a car for everybody, everybody. There is. And it just takes motoring to a whole new level. It is. It's just a privilege to drive them. It is. It was a privilege when well, I was getting to thrown around in the back seat this morning. Well, I used to drive a BMW, and there's no comparison as far as I'm concerned, as well as follow-up service. What did you used to drive? I used to drive a uh, 1996 Golf. Golf. Actually. And? And well, there's no comparison. <laughs> no comparison. Mm. Yeah, fantastic. Anyhow. Yeah. It was about as fantastic as the old egg tart. Egg tart. Whew. Very good very win. Good. She's won her last six. She's won six out of seven. How she got beat first up, I don't know. But she's won the next six since, including, including two group ones. And the way she's doing it, it really is quite special. So she's gone for a well-earned break. And she will come back in the spring and be a force to be reckoned with, Charles. Absolutely. What few was of the others. I'm not sure. I, obviously, with weeks going along the, the Epsom path, it worked so well for her. Yeah, she could run in a Caulfield Cup egg tart. And she's closely related to two Metropolitan winners, so 2500 won't be a problem. But I don't think we've done a bad job with weeks. Would you put them head to head in there? In the Cox Plate? Cox Plate? <laughs> Probably not, Charlie. Why not? Because weeks is a freak. So? It's a freak. We'll see. So you're going to run scared? Well, Winks wasn't going for a Cox Plate after she won the Oaks either. She did win the Theo Marks and then the George, uh, the Epsom. So if she wins the Epsom, she'll go to the Cox Plate? I guess so. <laughs> Bring it on. Bring it on the showdown. It'll be in all the newspapers tomorrow, <laughs> thanks to Charlie's big mouth. Right, we'll get on with doing them this Saturday. <laughs> The Wayne Wilson, we have Religified, heads back up the coast. Yes, thank goodness for a good track. Um, didn't handle didn't handle Eagle Farm two, two weeks ago, and that'll be the case for a number of horses racing on Saturday, not just our stable, but others. There's a report, trainers reporting that they pulled up uh, tired, exhausted. gone to the paddock, exhausted. So our bloke seems all right. Um, as is Tangled, he's racing on it again. As is El Lou. That black and black on gold. Black on gold. He of the four, probably, you could see it most on the day, but since he's been 100%. Okay. Well, we'll do so, we religious fight, Huey Bowman, he's well weighted. Do not soon. We are to beat Charlie. El Lou, change of ownership. Yes, um, Newgate and Associates now own her. Did a great job for the previous owners. They sold it at the Magic Million Sales and had a good result and have had a wonderful time with her. So let's hope she can get an instant return for her new owners and puts us in good books, wouldn't it? It certainly would. Okay, into the Dane Ripper we have French Emotion, 58.5 kilos, Hugh Bowman from Barrier 8. Not as effective uh, right-handed as she is left-handed, but many of those times have been on wet tracks. Soft tracks. Don't like wet tracks. No. She'll get a good track on Saturday. Hugh Bowman rides. Drawn well? Eight. That's a good draw for her. Well weighted. Hard okay. to And the JJ Atkins, a race we like. Tangled. Up to the mile. Karen McAvoy. Blinkers remain on. Going enormous. Very one. Lot to like about him. Just forget he went around at Eagle Farm two weeks ago. He wasn't disgraced. He was beaten 10 lengths. But he finished, I think, 8th or 9th out of, say, 18. Uh, you 
can't read into anything into that form. No. Horse is well, he's worked well, and he's absolutely thriving since being up in Queensland. And Sambro, barrier 10. Awkward gate. He seems to get a lot of bad barriers. Look, he'll probably get gilded at the end of this prep, so I want to give him his chance in the group one. Um, he deserves it. He's shown him. Much better form his last two runs. Last start, forget he ran was three wide, no cover. Still ran third. Um, he won't be far away if he gets a bit of luck from the gate. Okay, into the derby. We're well represented with black on gold, barrier 14. Good draw. Mm. Along with our other three yeah, in right. 16. We haven't drawn very 15. well on this, but we won't complain. The derby no. probably doesn't doesn't matter as much, but they have drawn wide. Black on gold, his work's been good since his failure last start. Um, I was been up at the Gold Coast through the week and really liked the way he finished his work off on Tuesday morning. Okay. He's had a good grounding and distance won't be a problem. He just does not need a wet track. He needs good tracks. All his wins have been on good tracks. Sizzling bullet. Um, was an okay run last start. Um, looked a little bit hesitant amongst them. Wide draw. Barry 16, he won't be in amongst them. No, he'll be out wide. No, no complaints. Mm. Monasterio. So Sizzling Bullet deserves his chance. Monasterio, he did win the race that Sizzling Bullet came out of last start. A little bit of a surprise. Good ride from Chad Lever. Um, got the rails run. And one with a bit of bit of authority. Breeding. He's by Savabield, so that'll certainly be a big push towards the 2200. He's also drawn wide, but hey, it's a derby. If the, the, whatever stays the triple win. And Kieran McAvoy and Wugok. Well, bat, wide draw won't worry him. He races forward. He'll be up in the first four. Um, he's coming into this race with different form lines. He's been raining against the older horses. Uh, I thought he toughed it out pretty well at Scone over the 2200 metre journey. Um, he's a fit horse and so will make, make, make the use of that fitness. Okay. Into the Stradbroke, we have counterattack. Opie Blossom keeping the ride. Barrier two. Yeah, fifty-four and a half. Um, which makes him the second to top weight, is it? Uh, yes, third. Third to top weight. Well, what more can we say? He's um, he's a non-group one winner at this stage. Saturday is a perfect race for him. And what more could you ask for is in winning a Stradbroke for a stallion going to stud? His draw is perfect. Even he, funnily enough, didn't handle that track last start. So he's more effective on this sort of good four to soft six range tracks. This stage is a good four. If it stayed in that range, he'd be very hard to beat Charlie. You wouldn't have seen a horse work better than him on the Gold Coast on Tuesday morning. Okay. Well, you wouldn't have seen a horse work too much better than Good Project on Tuesday morning either. Really? Hmm. Is that right? That is right. Well. He's, he's had the same preparation as McIntosh. They both came back from Perth. We gave them a good long break to get over the trip. They've had two trials each, and they've had an exhibition gallop. And he couldn't have been any more impressive in the exhibition gallop, could he? No. Well, if anyone was here at Rose Hill, they'd have they, hard work. Yes. Yeah, stick up in the back of their neck. They flew. Well, there you go. Um, he's a handy horse in his own right. He ran second in in a group one his last start in Perth before spelling. He's come back well, his attitude's great, he looks mag magnificent. Fresh up? He did fail last year fresh up, but not too concerned about that. Okay, and McIntosh, also fresh up? Yeah, well his fresh up record's fantastic, I don't think he's been beaten fresh. Oh. Including the Theo Marks win over counter-attack in the spring. Arguably counter-attack was very, well, very unlikely. Not true for that. 13, 1300. So this is an extra 50 metres. Look, he's had a perfect preparation. He's had the two trials, the exhibition gallop. Just barrier to one. Take the edge off them um, in terms of pre race nerves and that barrier one. Even with good project, gate okay, nine, I think he'll end up coming to gate six. We've drawn perfectly in the strap break. We'll just have to. Yeah. We haven't won a strap break. Well, it's about time we did there, isn't it? Fourth, third, seconds. Ready to win, mate. Yeah. Good. Look good on the mantelpiece. Right, we'll head straight on down to Randwick, which is where I will be. In times of war. Ready to go in again? Mmm. 
Good win last start, Charlie. Three wide, no cover all the way. Yeah. Tough to the beach against the older horses. True wide. Yeah, man. Got a good draw this Saturday. She's unplaced on soft. No, she's never been out of the money on soft. She's never been out of the money at all. Yeah. So, heavy nine, we're expecting for Ramwick. Um, that's money consumed. Gee, she's a fit horse. And we also have Best Guess. Well, similar scenario. He's coming back from 1200 to 1100, 1250. Bit of a concern. Is it? I think so. Might be on a heavy track, Charlie. Okay. If Fair, like Fair enough. Um, couldn't have been any more impressive last start, but that was on a good track. He has got some form on wet tracks. He's a good horse. Okay, into the two mile race. Opinions race from last year. We have Soviet Courage, Barrier 3. Say no more, he is the opinion of last year, isn't he? Oh, I'd say the opinion was a genuine two mile horse, but this horse, Soviet Courage, he's won three races on heavy tracks. He's won over 2600, which is the furthest he's raced. And um, he's a cracking run last start. I don't think the distance will be a problem. You'll handle the track is the one to beat. Richard of York, will he stay out in two miles? Charlie, he's won twice over 2400. His most recent 2400 winning was back in April at Ramwick on a heavy track. That's a big plus. He has got a better chance of winning a two mile race than a 2200 meter race because he just keeps running, running that same speed all day. Hence the reason why he got beat just going after running around him. So I think we've got two really good chances. Good. Hope we do. Right, into the three year old 2000 metre race. Not the strongest affair. No. But we're happy to try and take it out anyway. 100,000 prize money plus your Bob's bonus. And, and it's a benchmark 67. 67 race because of the scaling. scaling of the race. So, yeah, what do we got? Vaucluse Bay, Barrier 7. Said. Good preparation, he's ready to step up to the 2000. No excuses. Most of the old oh, horses handle all the wet. Walk the streets on the quick backup. She's a good filly, this. Really good filly. Crying out for 2000. Is she? Is she crying out for the wet track? Don't know. On a seven day backup? I think um, I think she's goes around the wet track too. Street cry. Half, half to weeks. <laughs> what? We can't claim they all are. What's well, his sister? Same still. Same yes, dad. I know, but <laughs> they're not humans. So a few of them I've got the same father, different mother, we're not brothers. Yeah, but come on. It's the same. <laughs> right, eh? So splendid. So, walk the street, she's one to follow. A little bit hesitant about running on a wet track, but again, 100,000, go for a spell, come back in the spring, she'll win a good race. Okay. So splendid. Um, hasn't what been far think? away, very fit. Last two runs have been over 2,200 since so she's rock hard fit. Uh, track shouldn't be a problem. Hard speed. Okay. Well represented in a week race. Very well represented. Into the Phillies and Mares 1400, we have Wine Tails. Resuming. You don't, don't know pull that face. You don't know which one's going to turn up though. If you're the same one who turned up to the exhibition gallop on Saturday, we're in with the shell. Charlie, let me give you some experience. All horses work well in exhibition gallops, especially Saturday class horses. Yeah, true. But she's had a trial prior to that. She's capable on a day, seems to handle all going. You can't underestimate her, but she needs to pull a finger out. Yeah, she does. And Dagny, also on the backup. Over race last start, didn't she? Yes. So, she's won. One start on a heavy track, which is at the start of the prep, she won easily. So she should handle it. Seven day back up won't be a problem, and she's well weighted. Last week she carried 61. Yep, correct. Yep. And Labdian. Ran second, last start? Third. 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 Second uh, to start before. Or second to Dagny before that. She's not racing bad. Seven day back up's great on these heavy tracks. She's, she's racing good, and she needed to get her toe. What all Glenn said was if she got her toe in, she would have near enough one last Saturday. She'll right. certainly get her toe in on Saturday. She will. So, again, well represented. Okay, into the 2000 meter 85 race, which is now actually an 80. Uh, we have multi facets, barrier three. We'll appreciate the step up and trip. I don't think he appreciates a wet track as much as others. 
Okay, Loving Home, Barrier 4. Um, um, he hasn't won a race on a heavy track from memory, but he's been placed once. Um, so right race for him, but he doesn't win a lot. Okay, and the rock hard fit nothing box, Barry six. Well, he, he won on a heavy track at Warwick Farm early in the prep. His form since then has been good. Touch flat last start, but uh, he's freshened up well, he's been working well. Mossman, they all handle the wet. Okay, and El Novio, third up, fit, ready to rock. Great soft and heavy track form. As you said, he's been looking for this distance. From memory, I think he found form this time last year. Correct. Uh, so was he not Star's first Saturday winner? I don't know, yeah. I'm not sure, but he's going well. He's ready to fire. Okay, going nipping down to Flemington, we have Andaz. Won its only start. Will it win its only second start, too? Mm, two year old up the straight at Flemington. Um, he's well. Um, not much more to say. He's, I was no. down there on Tuesday and thought he looked particularly well. Okay, into the 1800 metre race, we have in Costa Line, Barrier 5. Uh, gone down there for the better tracks. He's going to get a good run. Distance will suit. He's been a bit short from over the mile last two starts. He's nice ready. Start. He's ready to go. Trip down there will tighten him up because he's carrying a bit of extra weight. Hard to beat. Okay, and Zorkan in the same race, barrier three. Came back well. Good Didn't weather. On that occasion, he sat fourth or fifth. He's drawn well on Saturday. Should be able to sit in the same spot. Extra 200 metres will only help him. Yep. He looks terrific. He's been working well. The whole team in Melbourne's going well. Sounds like it might be a heavy shell. Righto. Anyway, Solo Hart, another last start winner. Um, Barrier yeah, 14. Appreciate the 2,000 metres, Charlie. He looks immaculate as well. Um, awkward gate, but 2,000 metres at Flemington. Yeah, you're depending on a bit of speed in the first part of the race. But if you go back, conserve energy, save ground on that big sweeping bend. Long straight, get cut into the straight, peel out of the surroundings. Craig knows him well. Yeah, he'll be very hard to beat. Grab another winner. Definitely one to follow. And last but not least, Overstep, another last start winner. She, Charles, is coming back from 1200 to 1000. Um, but you saw last start when we rode a quiet, she over raced a bit. It's yes. still one. I think over a thousand she'll settle perfectly. She'll only get to the front in the last 50 metres, but I think she will get to the front. She's another one that we a good chance. Okay, well, sounds like we're going to have a super Saturday then. Best of luck. Have a great weekend, everyone. See you Try now. and stay dry.